Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to prophetic intercession with a male. Always um, an opportunity and a great privilege for me to be in a position to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless all our first timers. If this is the first time you are coming across this channel, I always say it is no coincidence. If God is leading you here, it's because he has something for you through me. And my prayer always is that you stick around long enough to hear what the Lord has for you on this platform. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. So you can become a part of our family by subscribing. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that when there is a release of a prophetic word, you will not miss out. God um, gave me this prophetic word. He imprinted it in my spirit. And it's coming as a word of confirmation for someone. It's coming as a word of confirmation. And I pray that it meets just the right person that needs to hear this. I pray that it resonates with your spirit. So I want us to pray. Lord, we thank you for your word that is about to come forth. I pray that it meets just the right person who needs to hear it. Let it resonate with their spirit. Let it click with their spirit when they hear this. And help them to act upon it as they hear it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is someone you have been doing something in time past or you did something in time past but you did it more than once and it failed and right now you feel so discouraged as a matter of fact you feel like you should change endeavors you should change what you are doing to something else god says you should do it again this time it will be different god says do it again this time it will be different now this is not a general word for everybody this is a specific word because you have already given you know the 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 apostles they found themselves in a place peter and 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 and, and the others they found themselves in a position where they had toiled all night they toiled all night without a catch and they were exhausted they were already arranging their nets to go back home. And Jesus told them, do it again one more time. Throw in your net again. And even though they said, we toyed all night without a catch, we are exhausted. They decided to do it at the command of Jesus. Probably you are really exhausted from doing that thing again. You are exhausted from making that relationship work. You are exhausted from trying to make that business turn. You are exhausted. You are exhausted. You are tired. You have done it. You have put in your all. And yet things are not really happening. And you feel like maybe you should just change. You know, sometimes we feel like if we change, maybe um, if we change occupation, if you change, a re change the relationship, it will be better. You feel like if you just move out of that town where you are, it's going to be better. You feel like if you just change, I mean, totally just let go of what you were doing and try something new, that is where the miracle will come from. Yes, that, that might be true for so many people, but for you, God is saying, do it again. This time, the result will be different. Hallelujah. I earnestly pray that this is just a confirmation to you and that as you act upon it, may God show himself strong in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.